Hey guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today, as you can probably tell from that cute little little intro there, uh, I'm going to be doing another Amber Lynn Reed inspired video, and today I'm going to try to make Amber Lynn's famous chili, right? So I watched the most recent video she did on a chili, um... Uh, on a chili video but <laughs> that's that was really not a real sentence um, <laughs> um, but I used that video to inspire me to pick out the ingredients now she had like 20 different ingredients that she listed out um, and I think the only thing I left out is mushrooms because I just like have a sincere um, dislike for mushrooms and I'm like I'm for sure not gonna like that all the other ingredients individually I can probably be okay with and so I went with it um, but that is something I just know personally I don't like now if the rest of them all together are gonna taste good that's another question so we're gonna do a little taste test um, but let me show you what I got first all right so again I'm basing this off of the list of ingredients that Amberlynn shows in her most recent um, video. So, uh, she starts off and she says the most obvious thing is the silly cheese and silly cheese and silly seasoning mix. Um, and I just got the generic off-brand kind they had available. Um, now I will say Amber Lynn's secret ingredient is low sodium. So anywhere that they had like an option that was like comparable price that was low sodium, girl, you know I got the low sodium. So. <laughs> But this was one of the things I think she actually had low sodium in, but I wanted to get the the cheap store brand kind, so I didn't get low sodium. I got some black pepper. Um, I got some Mrs. Dash salt-free. Now, I've never purchased Mrs. Dash before. She actually, in her video, used like three different kinds of Mrs. Dash, and girl, I do not have the time. I mean, if we're just being honest. So I just got the original blend because I figured that would be a good place to start with, and hopefully... It's something I might want to use on something else because I just bought this today for the first time. Um, I think I said black pepper already. She used cayenne pepper as well, so we'll be adding that. And cumin as well. I had it hold it up, hold it held up over here. How the heck? Well, you know, anyways. So, you know, I'm not necessarily going to follow this recipe verbatim, you know. Um, I'm going to do my best. Um, I got some black beans some low sodium dark red kidney beans she used two cans of beans i just find that to be extra af i got some diced tomatoes now girl girl i really wanted to get some ground turkey in a tube and they did have some but they had like chorizo turkey sausage in a tube and they had taco seasoned turkey ground turkey in a tube and that was all my grocery store had, or at least that I could find. So we just got some regular ground turkey. Um, so, you know, there's that. I got one onion. Now, she cut it up into big chunks for Rebecca. That sounds disgusting to me. Um, and maybe I should follow this verbatim, but I'm not going to, as I just said. So we're just going to dice this, and we'll put it in there. And actually, I'm going to cook some of it with the ground beef. Um, and then maybe I'll add the rest of it after. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Uh, because I don't know if I've been clear yet, but Amberlynn just showed all the ingredients, showed her rinsing some, some, um, beans, and then that was it. That's all she did. She didn't show herself grounding up the turkey. Uh, she said it was a one-pot recipe, but I assume you need to, like, brown the, the ground turkey first. I mean, I've never personally made chili, but I would just guess that it's not gonna cook just sitting in liquids, but Anyways, I digress. We'll get there. Um, I got some tomato juice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use all of this. She had a much larger container, I think, and she said she wasn't going to use all of it. I don't know. I also don't like tomato juice, so I can't imagine wanting to use it. So we'll probably just see where we go and if I can include it in it. We'll do it. If not, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got some chicken broth. I probably won't use all of this either. I think she used much less, but this value size was cheaper than... Uh, the smaller next smallest size because it was on sale so I assume 
I could probably find something to do with chicken broth and as you see, reduced sodium. And then I got some zucchini because, you know, I've never had chili with zucchini in it, but that's apparently something Anne Berlin does. So, I'm going to grow, uh, brown, I can't talk today. I'm going to brown this, probably with some of this. I'll show you some clips of that, and we'll also give you a little taste test at the end. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, brown these onions up and then I'm going to add the turkey to it. Um, I feel like it's going to be a lot more palatable than just like adding them in later. To be fair, I don't know at what point Amberlynn did add in the, the onions. I don't know. You know, she, she doesn't really follow a recipe is what she said in her video. So I don't feel like I got to follow a recipe either. No, I'm not trying to be verbatim about this. Now, I also want to be transparent that I don't know when exactly Amberlynn added the seasonings and spices, so I do want the meat to have some kind of flavor just on its own, so we're just going to add a little, little Mrs. Dash. I don't even know what that tastes like. We're just going to add a little bit of all of the, the spices, and then once we add like the chicken broth and tomato juice and let it like boil then we will also sorry I'm trying to do all of this one-handed um, we will also you know make sure that we add some there too I suppose um, and then obviously I think we'll wait for the chili seasoning mix although I don't know should I put that in now what does the back of it say it says brown beef and large skillet um, drain excess fat Stir in seasoning mix, tomato sauce, or diced tomatoes and kidney beans. Bring to a boil. Okay, so we won't add this until after all of this is done cooking. I don't know why it's not focusing anymore, but... Okay, so great. So we'll check back in after I get a chance to brown this, and we'll add in all of our other stuff. Okay, so that is browned, ready to go. I drained it. Here I have the beans that are drained and rinsed. I didn't show you that even though that's the one step that Amberlynn actually did show you all and I also diced up some zucchini. So now I'm just going to add things to this. So we're going to get started first with the chili seasoning mix. I just assume you put it all in. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've never made chili before and I'm going strictly off of our girl Amberlynn's direction. Um, so then we have some chicken broth. Oh, do I have to open this? I don't really use chicken broth all that much, but I really should. It's not like I can't. Oh, I just spilled. What a mess. Okay, so I don't really know exactly how much. It doesn't pour out of this very well. Um, we're just going to, you know, put enough in for now. So maybe we'll start with that. You can always, I feel like, add more if necessary. Just a second, I'm gonna grab a, let's wipe that up. That's gross. I feel like you could always probably add more though. And I know we also still have to add a whole bunch of other things. Maybe I should also, let's just go ahead and add all of these guys. I feel like I'll probably focus a lot of my uh, liquid part on this tomato sauce juice this isn't sauce this is juice um because there's a lot and i'm probably not gonna need it for anything else i can't imagine a world yeah so let's just put it all in there and then i do want to add throw that in the recycling i do oh i almost forgot the diced tomatoes oh my gosh there are too many <laughs> ingredients in this I can't I can't stick up with it but I do want to add all a little bit more of all of the seasoning again Amberlynn doesn't say how much to add of everything so we'll kind of just try to make this our own um, and yeah I'm just gonna add these tomatoes juice and all straight in I feel like if nothing else it'll boil off and thicken up but there's that so throw that away 
And then let's just add a little bit of all of our seasonings. So this is the cayenne pepper. If you all are watching and you're like, oh my god, that's way too much, Zach, I'm sorry. Blame Amber Lynn, she didn't give me any specific instructions. There's that. A little bit of cumin. And see, the thing is, is like, I should have checked what was on that package, like what the ingredients are, but I feel like they probably have a lot of that stuff already in it too, so I don't know. But here's the black pepper. And you know, this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna turn the oven back on. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then it's just gonna cook. It's just gonna, you know, simmer or something, I guess. So I'll check back in with you once it's done and then we can taste test it a little bit later um, and see how it goes. Okay, so spoiler alert, and actually no spoiler alert at all because that suggests that I'm going to do something in the future that I'm telling you about now when I'm really just telling you now. Um, so I don't know, I cooked this for like probably an hour or more. I just let it simmer and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to let it like cool down a little bit so then I can eat it. So I thought I turned the heat off, but for some reason, do you see how I can go like that on my stove? I accidentally turned it all the way on hot and then it started, I was just like sitting at my computer watching a video and then I heard my smoke detector go off and I thought it smelled something burning. Here we are. So I don't think like most of it's ruined or anything, but like you can kind of hear when I scrape. But listen, I think it actually looks like it might be decent. I feel like this is not actually how Amber Lynn's looks when it's done. So I don't know if I did something different. Like this looks actually creamier and more like chili that I've eaten in the past outside of like, why is this in here? Why is this, why is this zucchini in here? I don't, I don't get it. You know, maybe the difference is the mushrooms. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I'm going to try this for you um, here in a second. Um, I just need to scoop some out and let it cool off because you can see the steam coming off. It's still very hot. All right, y'all. So in true Amber Lynn Reed fashion, I don't have, well, so I'm, the part that's like true Amber Lynn Reed fashion is that I'm going um, out to eat with my boyfriend a little bit later this evening so <laughs> I'm not gonna eat like a full serving um, but I did put a little bit I added some cheese it's I can't show you you can you can see it from the sides so I do just want to try a little bit of it I added some cheese because she added cheese and hers I'm just gonna stir it in I want to get a little bit of everything like this zucchini that makes no sense to me. I want a little piece of that in there. We're just gonna see how it goes, all right? I don't, I don't wanna burn my mouth. Like this doesn't seem something that's worth it to burn my mouth on. Listen, you know, this ain't bad. I mean, here's the thing about the zucchini. It's not necessary. And I feel like, honestly, it's just one of those things that, like, Amberlynn threw in because she wanted it to seem healthier. But, like, you can't taste anything. By the time it gets done being in that, like, pot with all the other things simmering forever, it has, adds no texture or anything like that. Like, you can't even tell. Mm. But, honestly, like, I'll probably, yeah, keep eating this. Like, this is not bad. Like, I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely also glad that, like, I diced up the onion because, honestly, the large chunks of onion in hers looked like ridiculous but I mean the flavor is good and honestly like if she would have diced them up small and cooked them down like 
so that they like, before she added all the other things into it, you would have had the flavor there without the texture. And Becky probably wouldn't have even known that they were in there. But instead, she used those big ass, like, chunks. And listen, there's no pleasant texture. Mm. I'm also glad that I uh, only did, like, the one can of kidney beans and the one can of black beans because three cans of all that would have been extra for, oops, sorry, I knocked my camera, um, would have been extra for the amount of meat and everything that was in there. But, I, I suppose if you're trying to make a bunch, like that might be necessary, I don't know. I feel like mine looks better though than hers, and granted, I didn't follow any recipe she gave outside of like the ingredients. But hers just looks really soupy, which chili is like a soup. But I don't know, I think maybe it's because I use more of the tomato juice than, than she did. Like I feel like she used an unnecessary amount of probably chicken broth. That makes no sense to me. But listen. I hope you all enjoyed me recreating this chili that she's always making on her channel. If you did enjoy that, please stick around. I'm always making new content. I make content Monday through Friday. I usually have it up by 1 p.m. Um, if you like it all, if you like none of it, whatever. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below. Also, please make sure to leave some comments, hit the like button, all of those fun YouTube things, um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!